Hello, it's Keith from KMH Corner, and I am back on the Serenity server. And I am standing in my pagoda. Yes, the first couple episodes was basically specifically about this pagoda that I have completely given up on because I found those spider spawners. But now that my work is basically done with those spider spawners and I have access to wool and I have my wool shop, I can now finish my pagoda. So that is what we are doing in this episode. We are going to finish this pagoda and make it rock. Or make it serene. <laughs> so let's get going. Alright, so I've changed some things at the pagoda. And uh, let me show you what I've done. I've uh, changed out the birch wood in the front here and put the diorite. I think it looks better that way. And I started working on the floors. Pretty much sure I had this finished on the last video, but I'm not too sure. The floor design and all that up there. I added this waterfall. I changed the stairs around a little bit um, to make them a little more fluid. Go up. And the second floor, I added the lights um, up there. I don't know if I'm going to keep these indentations in the floor they're kind of a pain in the butt because you kind of sink and if you're sprinting it kind of messes you up i think i might add a couple of things here i probably should add that i don't know it's a work in progress and um so we continue up and i added added a door here because in between the ceilings and the floors i have the space and i'm thinking uh, this might be a good place to stick some extra storage so I don't have to have it out in the open areas of the pagoda because I want it kind of open and free and feng shui and all that. Okay, I don't know anything about that stuff, but you know, you get what I'm talking about. Kind of chill, calm area to hang out. Um, added the designs here on this floor. I think this is the third floor. The fourth floor, you can gotta use the stairs and I don't know I just threw this in the middle uh, somebody's talking to me about the videos I was working on fixing the upper floors and I don't know what I I forget where I stopped this is kind of gonna be a storage area I think and this floor was the top floor before and I had some sort of weird roof up here uh, and I'm taking down the roof and I'm gonna add another floor on this last floor. I'm gonna put a my main portal to uh, Come and go out of this world. So when that's done, I will show you but first I Will say we were gonna hop to town and I'm gonna do something special there with my uh, wool factory <laughs> bring some wool over there because that's a daily project of mine I have to get some more food because I'm stealing melons from the melon farm downtown and it's a pain in the butt but uh, it's the food that's sustaining me right now and I will see you in town hello I am at spawn this is downtown serenity if that's what it's called I don't know but there's some nice buildings here and I'm standing on top of my wool shop why why do you ask well we gotta add one more thing to the shop let me get this i am gonna add a sheep a sheep to the shop let everybody know what this is all about so let me go get my sheep and I'm just gonna borrow this guy right here come on because he's the only sheep in town <laughs> he's a black sheep can I reach that oh yeah oh he's not the only black sheep in town Time to get another sheep. <laughs> Awkward. I'm killing sheeps on my server. Um, 
Yeah, so we just call, killed Smokey. Let's see if we can kill Cloudy. Arr. Come on. I need you for an experiment. I think um, I sent Smokey for a ride. He went flying up in the air and came down and like went smush. And like that's just not cool. So yeah. We're going to put you right there for now. And I'm going to get myself a little bit higher. Oh, my lead is still up there, is it? No, I think that's just a figment of my imagination. There we go. Come on with me. Let's see if you die. Are you going to die? Oh my gosh. I am killing all the sheep in town, and it's like, uh, yeah. That's not cool, Mr. Keith. I uh, know. Let's uh, not kill all the sheep. Sheep killing? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> and somebody's gonna notice the lack of sheep in town, and they're gonna be like, uh, Keith, what did you do? And I'll be like, I killed sheep in town. Because I'm doing an experiment with sheep and, you know, for some cosmetic experiments. And that's what this is. Uh, maybe if you came up a couple of splotches. Come on. Yeah, see a good sheep. Let's see if uh, this guy decides to die. You good? You good. Oh. Dealing with animals in Minecraft is sometimes not the most precious thing in the world. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Yes, we got the sheep. Now we got to make him special. And this is how you make him special. Aha, uh -huh. yes. Our shop is now done. Now, if you suffocate in the wall, I will be upset, guy. But I think you're good. I think the wool shop is done. I just got to get more wool. And yeah. I hope you enjoy your new home. And I hope nobody on the server thinks that they're going to be playing pinata with you and just go smack smack and I hope that this lead actually lasts a couple of uh, longer than a couple of days on here but I have a feeling Jeb is not gonna have a long life on the server just a just a wee feeling just a wee feeling that is yes wee feeling so Jeb enjoy your stay before someone comes along and kills you or something that is the serenity server for you. Comes along and kills you. I am back. I've been looking for a new um, place to put my tunnel um, for the nether, obviously. I'm in the nether, yes. And this is my old spawner. Or my old portal. <laughs> Learn the words that are in Minecraft. And um, that was too far away from whatever so I made this other shaft and I was gonna keep it at this level which is level 110 but I decided I wanted to make another tunnel at level 80 which means that while I'm doing the minecart ride I can look around and see the th different things in the nether which will be ultra cool it's gonna be enclosed with glass and it's gonna have a uh, nether brick on it also um, so I this is level 80 right yeah level 80 and this is where my ultimate portal will be and this will be the portal room eventually and you see when I go through here um, I come out in a different place and where is this I am on top of my pagoda so this will be the new way into my world, into my land, into my demon, 
domain. I can't even speak yet. Um, so let me show you. Um, this is the top floor. I'm going to put some glass around here because I've noticed from a distance when you look at this building, um, they. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm looking at chat. Uh, and somebody doesn't know about their redstone. Uh, I'm gonna put the blue glass panes around here just to add some blue to this level because it looks kind of weird um, from a distance with all the blue around. But that's the home. It is done. Um, and now all I'm gonna do is lay out a row for the direction of my um, nether tunnel. So I'm going to get a whole bunch of um, nether brick because that's what the tracks are going to go on. And I don't know if I'm going to have nether slabs on each side of the tracks like my single player uh, world because I like to have the main track and the half slabs on either side. Um, I guess my nether brick is over here. So I'm going to head towards there while I tell you about this. Um, so I don't know if I... I'm going to do nether brick for the center track and then half slabs on either side then put encase it with glass, it's probably going to be red glass, or if I am just going to uh, just stick one layer of nether rock then everything else is going to be glass. So I haven't decided, I can't, I should get in the minecart and see how well you can look down while you're in one, but um, I don't know, it'll be pretty easy to change it up. The tunnel goes 740 blocks in the X direction and 700 blocks or 691 blocks in the Y direction. So it's going to be 14, 1500 blocks long, but I can't wait to make another tunnel because I hate running back and forth from um, spawn as it is that long it's like 700 one direction 700 another direction and it's an l-shaped thing so I just run for 700 blocks and turn and run for 700 blocks and seeing I'm don't have the patience I'm running as fast as I can and jumping and I'm using up tons of food and I usually use 20 to 25 of these melons while I'm running, I should really get an alternate food source because that's all I've been eating on the server is melons. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for today. Um, I really hope you do like the pagoda. I've got my pants pulled up high, getting ready for work on the nether tunnel, which will be next episode. Make sure I got enough fire resistance potions so I don't burn to death. Still only one death, fall damage death, which ain't no fun. You know, when you're got scaffolding up and you are breaking blocks, try not to break the block underneath you or else you will fall to your death. Simple Minecraft 101 material. That's the type of stuff that kills me the most on this server because monsters and stuff, meh, yeah, they're tough and whatever. But, you know. So, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, the new snapshot came out yesterday. Later on today, I'm going to fiddle around with that after work. And that should be interesting. Because from what I understand, if I hit the F5 mode like I am right now, you see that little mustache? That mustache is gone in 1.9. Yes. So no more mustache on my face when I do this. <laughs> mustache. It gets so much bigger when I'm farther away. Small mustache. Big mustache. Small mustache. Big mustache. Yeah. Ooh. Now it looks like I'm blowing a whistle. Okay, obviously you know I've lost my mind. So I'm going to go. This is Keith for KMA's Corner on the Serenity server. Come here and play with me someday. Probably after the 1.9 reset because Season 3 is going to start. This is actually Season 2. Uh, season 3 will start when 1.9 is officially released for good and we can start all over and I've already been chosen as one of the people uh, to be able to help with the spawn, I believe. 
<laughs> we'll see. And, oh, yeah, I, I uh, checked out my wool shop and people have donated some really good stuff. I appreciate it. So I'm going go to go get some more wool and bring the wool over when I go over there to start the nether hub tunnel because I'm starting that spawn and working my way out here. Have a good day. It's Keith for KMH Corner. Goodbye.